Hey, what's up everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Metal. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Cub Cadet riding mowers. Um, this particular model I think is a 2010, I believe it is, is when I purchased it new. And for the most part it's been pretty decent up until the last couple years it started acting up. And I noticed recently it had no second speed. It was just like extremely slow and I even changed the uh, belts and everything and that didn't seem to fix it and I'll tell you what I did to resolve the issue of what happened uh, how to make it go faster I should say because I couldn't really find a whole lot on um, YouTube or anywhere about how to to resolve the the issue of just having it was either you went either super super slow or that well that was it you went super slow it's either that or you don't mow your yard so it took me like double the time to mow my yard and I kind of, I can't deal with that. Um, all right, I talked about earlier about how I got my mower to go back to working in two speeds instead of just super slow. What I ended up doing is having to I'm gonna crawl underneath the here. All right, so how I fixed this is I ended up, of course, once again, I think it was two years ago, I'd put new idler pulleys on underneath the key to this also is make sure you use an OEM Cub Cadet belt. I know it's like $35 to $38, but they say that's a really, uh, it's a key. A lot of all this stuff's made in China, which is really pisses me off, but what are you going to do? Um, this bolt that runs through this idler pulley also holds this whole gold plated bracket, this whole idler setup together. That bolt is what I talked about earlier, runs up through the freaking body and then you have to take the body off the mower to get to it i i just cut an access hole in there so i could get uh to the nut so that makes it really nice if you have to pull these off again like i did two years later which is hence this year anyway this the main dry belt comes around here if you're wondering I had to look it up on Google myself because I, I always forget I had it backwards at one time. So it rides here. Actually, the V part rides against the pulley. And then it flips over. And then the back of the belt is the flat spot. Rides around the back of the pulley. And you want to go in front of this smooth bolt that's hanging down. And it goes to the front pulley. And it goes up here to this pulley here. Comes back. And then goes back to the bottom part of the Vera speed pulley which I'll show here in a second the other key to for me to getting this running right <clears throat> this dust falls on my face I replaced this here I know a lot of these are expensive they're like nine dollars or more piece these springs this pulls this bracket in this is very important as well this is for the Vera speed pulley there's an idler on there uh, which you can kind of see up top but I'll show it then best I can that is very important as well to replace that spring because that pulls this tight it draws the smaller drive belt or secondary drive belt nice and tight I also went ahead and ordered this spring here which connects to the gas pedal and when I had all this apart here I greased took some white lithium grease and did on each pivot point on each side here and here and this thing works awesome now the parking brake works again the cruise control works again but like I said this spring here I know these aren't cheap but you want to replace every spring on it I would say if yours is over five years old just order all the springs you need I, I probably put about two hundred dollars or more into this this year but it made it run like a brand new mower the only one that I didn't replace was this spring here for the brake I probably should sometime that pulls on your disc brake air in the back at the transmission and the other way to get to these Vera speed pulleys uh, there's just you can kind of see it on the other side it's just two bolts that hang down there that holds the whole transmission on so you yank those two bolts and then these two right here I don't know if you can kind of see them there's one here and one here it's only six bolts you need to pull and that whole transmission falls right off and you just got to pull this pin here and I was able to pull the whole thing out with the wheels and that was pretty nice so you can get to everything in the back 
So essentially, you have practically a whole new mower when you're, when you're done. As my microphone falls off. All right, to the back of the mower here. Let's pull this out and get this out and get the battery out of the way. And I'm pulling this tray. All right, now that we have the battery and the tray out of the way, this pulley here, I know it looks dirty and old, but it's not. I just got this in the mail from Amazon, I believe is who I got it from. I wasn't, I cheaped out like most people. I didn't want to spend the $30 or whatever. I thought the other one had no issues and I tried to repair it. It still had no, I don't know, it didn't seem to give me the second speed I needed. So I replaced that one, but you, to get to those bottom bolts, you pretty much need to pull that whole transmission, everything out. And then I also put, uh, I think it was at the end of the last moon season, this upper, upper drive belt is OEM Cub Cadet as well. And that goes over to this idler pulley I was talking about that runs on this bracket with that spring. That spring is very important. Mine was worn out, I guess at nine year mark. I had noticed a couple years ago it wasn't pulling tight anymore and pulling this this belt here. So this Verispeed pulley works kind of like a as a I guess kind of like a clutch that has your two speeds. Uh, I did just get this pulley in the mail yesterday or two days ago. I don't think I'm going to replace that. That was only like nine or twelve dollars. That's the they call it like the transmission pulley sits on top of the transmission. I don't feel any issues with it and I might even just send it back to Amazon but uh, essentially I replaced probably 90% of the pulleys on this mower and like I said you want to try to get as many springs as you can I didn't get the uh, uh, brake springs I didn't I, I probably will replace that at some point but it's running like a brand new mower I mean it's running awesome it's just if those stupid uh, the deck engagement cable kept breaking so I think with my fix which I might make this as two separate videos. Uh, I'll post the other video separate. I made these extensions just out of long bolts and turnbuckle things or whatever. I don't know what you call those bushings, threaded bushings, I guess you want to say. And I've got this up higher to pull the, the deck engagement cable and get it away from the belt. Because what happened, same with this rod, I probably should get a new one of these. I just put some JB Wild on it. It was like this from new this belt would sit and go like this and then it rubs on this rod and that in turn it would also bob up and down and rub on the spring get the spring hot and it would just snap like a twig of the cable so i think i got all the issues straightened out i would like to get this droop this is kind of droopy right here um, it's not as bad when this spring here is on but it's not real level with the other pulley it should be up a little bit higher I don't really like the way that is, but uh, this is the garbage you're dealing with. With Cub Cadet MTD stuff is pretty much made to be throwaway stuff. It only lasts about five years or so. So I'm going to try to get, I'm hoping to get a few more years out of this mower. Uh, this is an LTX 1040, 42 inch cut. And there's the arrangement of the dry belt. If you also need to know that, you just got to loosen these two pulleys. I did replace these two. And I'm not sure if I mentioned her or not. Instead of spending a hundred and some dollars for the two spindles, if you take these spindles off, there's four bolts underneath. Just take them off, half inch socket. And there's two bearings, which I'll list in the video to rebuild this whole thing. You can do both spindles for under $20 easily. So I replaced the bearings and this will be the first time I'll be mowing it with fresh bearings. And like I said, the uh, those, those two idlers are fresh i think i did those a few years ago as well but i can't remember and i also sharpened the blades so it should be ready here to uh for the melon season season i'm not sure if this is oem i think this is an oem cub cadet belt usually the good ones have this cloth coating on them from cub cadet slash mtd and the cheap chinese ones you'll see from amazon and ebay they don't have that they're just like straight rubber and they don't last as long as the ones that have that cloth coating over the rubber so there you go hopefully it helps somebody else out like me there's my new deck engagement cable here this will be the third or, or actually fourth cable so hopefully this one lasts i sent the other one back from amazon because it only lasted literally a half hour uh mowing time but i like i said i think it might have just got that hot from the belt might have been 
so close to it. So now that I got this uh, inch and a half or whatever up off the deck here, it's not going to be rubbing on the belt anymore. Shoot, I'm hoping it works. This spring here normally goes up to the bracket, but I just put it down here to the hole and it seems like it'll be fine. What that does is pulls back. When this pulls this back, it pulls back your brake and allows the spindle to spin around. All right, so I'm going to put it back together and hopefully it'll mow fine. I'm looking forward to a mowing season without a bunch of grief here with that cable and everything else. So hopefully it helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll try to put down below all the uh, links from Amazon, all the pulleys that I got. And the spring, some of them were from exter external sources as well, like Shanks Lawn and Garden and stuff like that. Um, but it's a pain. I put a lot of time and energy into getting this to run right. And I think it should be good to go now. Let's check out the robin as the robin's in the bird bath there. So Robin in the bird bath. Hi Robin. What's going on? You are you're bathing. Alright, so thanks for checking the video out. Hopefully this video and the deck engagement modification video helps somebody else out. I'll probably make them as two separate videos so you guys will have to check that out. And I also have a video about putting shoe goo on the back tires to give a little more traction, a little more life out of the back tires because these tires on this 10 year old mower almost 10 years old as the original tires i did do the uh fronts last year from uh, they were amazon purchased to the tires i think both were 40 45 bucks of the pair which is actually pretty cheap with free shipping but they're made in china i believe as well as everything like everything else all right so thanks for watching sorry it's not diecast related if you like this type of video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have all kinds of do-it-yourself videos and diecast related videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye now.